Hi, Jacob Kalisner here and welcome to Instant Threat Modeling, a series of 5-minute videos covering key threats and recommendations for different technologies, processes and industries. Today's topic is Adversarial AI. You may have noticed that in two ITM episodes I've covered some areas of machine learning or AI solutions, voice biometrics and chatbots. There will be more as we plan to publish an article on hacking and hardening face biometrics solutions. That's why I've decided to cover adversarial attacks on AI solutions in general. So, a really high level overview of machine learning, whether it is an authentication, recommendation or analytics system. We have users who supply input. You can expect an API here, but hey, imagination is the only limit. This could be as well an employee scanning a written form filled in by the client. The box here is where the magic happens. At the moment of the attack, we expect a model in a certain state, trained with training data. A lot of systems will add the user input to the training data so that it gets better over time. All components need to be hosted somewhere, so we need the infrastructure and the system owners, developers, administrators and data scientists. They use CI CD tools in the infrastructure to deploy this solution. What can go wrong? If the user wants to take advantage of the system, knowing the model or at least the training data helps a lot. That's why they want to steal the model via infrastructure attacks, third-party compromise, just by reading the documentation or by disassembling the device in case of IoT. One other attack vector allows to determine the model or at least the key parameters of the input, that is fuzzing the input and observing the output. Once the attacker has some knowledge about the model, they can execute more attacks. For example, poisoning the system with incorrect data so that it is not effective anymore or it starts generating financial loss. The infrastructure compromise may lead not only to model theft but also to model tampering. That is, modifying the model in a way that it behaves differently for other users. Uh, think about loan frauds or swindling. Regardless of whether the system is deployed on-prem or shared with other clients, the training data containing user input can leak. The last one is insider threat. What if the person who created the model implemented some backdoors? Instant mitigations. Infrastructure and API based threat models and also a based threat model for a third party. Intellectual property protection and also physical and firmware hardening. Now, fuzzing detection and also poisoning prevention. Exfiltration detection and prevention in case of information leak and machine learning model verification in the very beginning and also verification of the model state in case of model tampering. These were key threats and recommendations applying to machine learning based systems in general. Let me know if you want to try those attacks against your solution. You can find all previous episodes on the YouTube channel securing.b/itm. Cheers.